یا یو نبی یو کل بن فی ایدی کو من الاسرا او پروفٹ سے ٹو دیز پیپل ہو آر ان یور ہینڈس فرام امنگ دی کیپٹو ان یاد ام اللہ فی کلو بکم خیر اف اللہ نوز اینڈ اف اللہ فائنڈس دیٹ ان ود ان یور ہارٹ دیئر از سم گڈ یو تے کم خیر ام خزم ان کم ہی ول گیو یو بیٹر اینڈ مور دین وٹ ہیز بین ٹیکن فرام یو Now please keep one point in mind. Some of the people of Quraysh who had come to fight against the Muslims at Badr, they were forced to do it because of the tribal system. They didn't want to go to war against the Muslims. There could be someone who had hidden in their hearts the Iman, the faith also. But because they had not declared it there, had they declared it, they would have had to make the migration. hijra so because they were not so much you know motivated by iman that they were ready to leave their homes and hearts and you know the land of their ancestors where the ancestors were they lying buried so that was not the depth of conviction was not to that that level so they remained at makkah when they remained at makkah they had to come under the tribal system now because the tribe is going to fight against somebody some enemy you have to go So there were certain people, you know, and according to some traditions, perhaps Hazrat Abbas, the uncle of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was also among them. So, and, and there could be other others also. So now, if Allah knows that they, in your hearts there is something good, but because you have not up till now declared your iman, you came to fight the Muslims along with the kuffar. So law. will take its course you will be treated at par with other the unbeliever captives and you will have to pay the ransom but allah will reward you allah will repay you in his own ways he will compensate ya ayu nabi qul liman fi aydikum min alasra in yalam allah fi qulubikum khairan yutikum khairan mimma ukhiza minkum well his prayers are very vast he can compensate to you in many other forms wa yaghfir lakum and he will forgive you wallahu ghafur rahim and allah is forgiving merciful wa in yuridu khiyanataka and if somebody now says that i am muslim i came only because i was forced to come here so please forgive me and let me go scot free wa in yuridu khiyanataka faqad khanu allah bin qabl they have committed you know treachery with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also If somebody is making treachery, he is treacherous in his behavior. Fam kana min kum, so Allah has gave you, has given you power over them. Allahu alimul hakim, and verily He is all knowing, all wise. Inna lazina amanu wa hajaru wa jahadu bi amwalihim wa anfusim fi sabili Allah wa lazina awa wa nasr. Ulai ka baaz hum awliya baaz. Verily and certainly those who came to believe. وَهَاجَرُوا and who migrated وَجَاهَدُوا بِأَمْوَالِهِمْ وَنْفُسِنْ فِي سَبِلِ اللَّهِ and they strived in the way of Allah to their utmost with their belongings and their lives وَالَّذِينَ آوَوْا وَنَسَرُوا and those who gave them refuge and helped them now the Muslim society up till, ta- up till that time you know It was composed of two distinct parts at Medina, Wahajirin and the Ansar of Medina. And although Muhammad Sallallahu had made them brothers, one from the Wahajirin, the other from Ansar, and they were declared as brothers. And you know they divided their homes, they divided their shops. Even you know one Ansari, he took his Wahajir brother to his house. He had two wives. He said, "You select which one you like, because you know the the commandments about hijab. They have not been revealed up till now. They were going to be revealed several years later in Surah Al Nur and Surah Al Ahzab. So there was no no you know wheeling and no the, all this uh, things you know segregation etc. It was a mixed society. So he took the brother to the home. I have two wives." You select. I will divorce her so that you can marry her, because 
the prophet has declared that you are my brother and i can't you know bear that you live without a wife and i have two wives with you so that was the bond of friendship but still you know these were the two distinctly separate sections of the society and quran is also mentioned in the, uh, separately and here you know the level is different because those people who had migrated left their families and homes and everything behind you know they were definitely of a, at a very higher level of the regarding the depth of commitment regarding their love for allah then and actually before the battle of badr the eight expeditions which i shall explain inshallah next friday evening when i go into details of ghazwa badr the prophet sent only the muhajirin in eight expeditions badr was the first expedition in which ansar were also included they were never asked to go out to to fight in the way of allah all the eight expeditions four of them saraya in which the prophet didn't go himself only some groups were sent and four of them ghazawat in which the prophet also participated but in all eight of them nobody no ansari from madina was included so that is why these words are coming for the muhajirs here in allazina amanu wa hajaru wa jahadu bi amwalihim wa anfusihim fi sabilillah up till now only they were striving and they were fighting for the cause of allah going out you know to meet the enemy wa allazina awaw wa nasaru now the second section is who gave them the refuge who accommodated them in their homes and businesses etc etc and they were the ansar they helped them ba'dhum awliya wa ba'd now they are friends to each other they are protectors of each other wa allazina amanu wa lam yuhajiru ma lakum min walayat min shay and as for those who who had iman who said the shahada ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah they became muslim but they didn't immigrate they didn't come we have read these things in much detail in surah an-nisa this discussion you know this subject has been discussed but surah an-nisa was going to be revealed several years later after this this surah this as i told you was revealed in the second year after hijra just after the battle of badr surah an-nisa that was either in the fifth or the sixth year after hijra so here is the first pronouncement regarding this walladhina amanu wa lam yuhajiru ma lakum min walayatihim min shay those of you who come to believe who accept the faith but they don't immigrate to madina there is no you are not responsible for their protection in anything until they immigrate wa in istansarukum fi din fa alaykum an nas but if they they want and they ask for your help it's incumbent upon you that you help them but there is an exception illa ala qaumin bainakum wa bainahum misaq except against the nation or tribe with whom you have a treaty for example you know you know there are some muslims in some tribe they are they are being persecuted they call the muslims to help now there are two conditions possible if this this tribe has no treaty with muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or the muhammad has not concluded any treaty against this tribe uh, with this tribe then you can take an action helping the muslims of that tribe but if you have a treaty with that tribe now you are barred from it now you can't help although they are muslims although they want your help although they you know are asking for your help but because they have not immigrated why have they stayed back when they have stayed back they have not immigrated they lose the right that they must be protected okay if the tribe has no treaty actually then the help can be given but not if you have a treaty with them wa in istansarukum fi din fa alaykum an nas illa ala qaumi bainakum wa bainahum misaq wallahu bima ta'maluna basir and what our ever you are doing allah is seeing it wal ladina kafaru ba'dhum awliya wa ba'd as for those who have rejected the faith who have suppressed the testimony of their souls and belied what muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was conveying to them ba'dhum awliya they are friends and protectors to each other illa tafaluhu takun fitnatun fil ardi wa fasadun kabir 
if you don't do this there will be much disturbance in the in the land what does it mean if you don't if you ignore the treaty and go to help the muslims of that tribe while you had the treaty with the tribe but it is going to disturb the things the system has to be kept if you have made a treaty you can't help the muslims over there you have to do it